it just becomes so easy to say, yeah, I'm not feeling good. I'm just not going to make it. I don't know if I would go so far as to say bitter, but certainly resentful of God. I was feeling trapped um, professionally. I think that fed into not putting more effort into God because like, well, it have got me kind of trapped here and I'm just spinning my reels and I just don't want to, to bother. I woke up one morning getting ready to go to work. All of a sudden my mind went into like a complete fog. I felt really jittery, I couldn't stop moving. Just started walking around all over the apartment. Then just getting more, more distraught. I started breathing really heavily. I started thinking to myself, what in the world is going on? What is this? I've never had this before. What? And I couldn't stop. That was my first panic attack. And that kicked off a series of doctor's visits after doctor visits, tests, trying to find answers. I just kept having panic attacks. They just kept coming. As she's up and pacing, I would have to follow her closely right alongside. It generally ended with her collapsing to the floor unconscious. And I would have to catch her to make sure she wouldn't hit her head on a piece of furniture. She would wake up after you know a minute or less uh, in my arms on the floor. Or a handful of times, she would look at me and not even know who I was. Not even remember her own husband. I can't tell you how terrifying that is uh, to see that. A lot of stress, a lot of worry. Medical bills mounting, reduced income, a couple of emergency room visits. I had no idea at that time how, how dark life could feel sometimes. I just remember falling down on the floor and just finally crying out to God. Poured out my heart, everything I was feeling, everything I'd been dealing with, the work issues, income, all of it. I'm positive God spoke directly to my heart. He reminded me, I have a purpose in this. I will see you through this. In time, you will look back and know you are okay. Things did not immediately get better, but any, every time there was a panic attack, every time I just collapsed unconscious in my arms, just hear it in my soul again, I am with you. I have a plan and a purpose in this. And I immediately started seeking for a local church. When we walked in the building, I immediately felt all eyes were on me. And I remember thinking to myself, Great, I'm finally taking a step to get back into church, do what God wants me to do, and I'm gonna go in the middle of a panic attack before I even before the service even starts. And then right as I'm having these thoughts, these people from Salem just walked up and just said good morning and just greeting us. I just felt at peace. Just I knew that Salem was gonna be a big part of our recovery. The more people I got to know at Salem, the more I found out that I wasn't alone in this journey. Salem was there right when I needed it. God had intentionally shut those doors that I'd kept pursuing, kept throwing myself against because it wasn't time yet. Looking back, I can see that God used these panic attacks to say, get back in church, get back to following me, and that I'm always going to be with you, and no matter what, I'm never going to forsake you. Despite wanting from Him, drifting away from Him, God was still orchestrating our lives. God was still directing us and bringing us to Him. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. He has a plan for us and a purpose, and His ways are good. His plan is good, he can be trusted.